uh, we're in the family car. We even got the car seat set up back there for little baby Ford coming here very soon. But hey, we want to start off this little this little John John Ray <laughs> jaunt jaunt jaunt. <laughs> this little jaunt with a drive through Calvary's drive through church, which you should drive too. But make sure you drive very carefully. Don't hit it. Kind of reminds me of like uh, a little ride like at Disneyland or something. And look at this picturesque oceanfront view right there, and Les. Go. Welcome to Conversations in Cars with Youth Pastors. I'm your host, Taylor Ford. Episode one. I'm in the car here by Toyota Highlander with one and only Taylor Mosier, worship director for C7. We've got Candace Sperling in the back. She's our video director. We're doing an event called Love Moss, and we're going to go to Taco Bell, and we're going to order the tacos for it. We're going to get that in just a moment. But I want to show you some things on our way there. First, first things first, if you'll notice on our right, I feel like a tour guide, You'll have the coolest car you've ever seen in Sumner. I mean, look at this. This is unreal. Let's go. Come on. Uh, you, you never know what you'll find. And uh, maybe that's the next car we'll do. Conversations with youth pastors in cars with hydraulics. Come on. Uh, maybe my car has hydraulics. Maybe that's my car. Who knows? It's going to kind of let it <laughs> it's go. It's kind of fun. I, it I love it. How are you today, by the way, my friend? Oh, I'm doing so good. I'm in a conversation with some great friends. Here we are. Um, you know, the reality is I'm in a conversation with a lot of nice people. We're in traffic, though, where there's not a lot of nice people, and you're going to see some of them in just a moment. Uh, we got, we just got told we are number one. Come on. We're number one filming our video. <laughs> this is going to be the number one podcast, according to someone that, uh... oh, we are literally in the middle of the intersection. This is tight. Okay, here we are. The street. Yep, this is encouraging. Yep, sorry guys. Hello, thank you very much. Tight. <laughs> hey, let's have, a, let's have a conversation on love. Our event is called Love Moss. We're starting a series at C7 called Love. Uh, love is a big word. It's a word that's talked about all the time in our culture. Um, I want to just encourage you just for a few minutes on this little podcast thing we're doing. It's not even a podcast, video cast, whatever these things are called. Conversations in Cars with Youth Pastors, whatever it's called. Uh, I want to talk about love for a moment. I don't know. Taylor Mosier, what does love mean to you? Uh, whoa, that's a, that's a good question. Hi, Cameron. How are you doing? <laughs> uh, what is love to me? I think love to me is like... I don't know. All I can think about is like unconditional. Yeah. Like this, this idea that uh, despite whatever we've done or whatever we're going to do that we're going to be felt like there's this unconditional feeling towards us. Yeah, for sure. I think it's like, you know, when we're going to start with love, we have to start with the love of God. Like it has to start there because if we don't, if we don't start there, then we're going to build our idea of love on something that's not, that's not solid, right? Like, the world says a lot of things about love, and I love that you said the word, I love that you said the word unconditional, because that's what it has to be. And the only way we can have unconditional love for each other is through the love of God. And we have to know that in our life, that His love for us is unconditional. Um, in fact, it says uh, in 1 Peter 4.8, uh, it says that love covers a multitude of sins. Therefore, we should love one another deeply. Like, that's what the Bible says. Like, we should, as Christ follows, like, we should love one another. We should be the people that share Christ's love into the world. And so I was just thinking about love, like I'm gonna use the acronym love, and maybe this is a way for you to think about just in your own life, how you can love the people around you better. Um, L is is listen, of the, of the word love. L is listen, like I think when you listen really well to people, it makes them feel loved. And I don't know like what conversations in your life you need to have. I don't know people that you disagree with. I don't know if there's people that uh, maybe you just have tension with. I've just found in the midst of all of that, if you just can listen really well, ask great questions, just be present in the moment, and you can just acknowledge and hear their side of the story, it'll make them feel loved. Uh, you want to love an enemy really well? Just listen to them. Like just, just hear their side out and hear it without any other agenda, right? Without any other agenda, just saying, hey, like, uh, that's really valuable to me that you would that you would feel that way and I want to hear you out and then you, you validate what, what you've heard from them so I think uh, listen is a super big one I think uh, also you should spend some time like with them offering offering to help them I think the O of L-O-V-E is offering to help somebody in love like I think 
just being sacrificial with your time is so important. Like, if there's someone in your life that just needs to be loved right now just by you offering up your time. Just say, hey, I'm here. What do you need me to do for you? And maybe they need your help with something. I think that's a great way you can love a parent, a sibling, a friend, and that way. Uh, the V of love is voice the truth. Now, this one is a tough one. Uh, the Bible says that we ought to speak the truth in love. It says this, and I think we as Christ followers, we as people that follow Jesus, we need to be people that speak the truth in love, and we voice the truth. This is the V of L-O-V-E, voicing the truth. And I know for me, I've had moments in my life where someone has had to tell me the truth, and it's usually not always fun to hear, but I need to hear it, and it's so important. So I think V is voicing truth. Let's be truth tellers, but truth tellers in love. There's nothing worse than somebody that just tells the truth, but there's no love attached to it. The Bible says it this way, actually. We're supposed to be full of grace and full of truth. And so we're supposed to have this, this sense of being willing to be graceful and be truth tellers, but do it with a bunch of love attached. So we should voice the truth in love because we want what's best for people. And then the E, there's L-O-V. And then the E, I think, is encourage often. I think we ought to be the types of people that we just encourage people all the time. Like, what are you known for? Like, are you known as someone that's like, every time they see you, you're complaining or you're criticizing or are you known as just like the most encouraging person ever? Like, I know I want to be known as the person like every time people are around Taylor Ford, like that they just are encouraged. And so encouragement is a powerful tool in loving people, texting them to encourage them, voicing the, the encouragement when you're with them in person, giving a phone call. I don't know, like, Maybe even you got to email a teacher and encourage a teacher. Like whatever it looks like, let's just be the types of people that encourage often. I think that is the L-O-V-E of love. Listen, offer to help, voice the truth, and encourage often. Above all, love each other deeply. Here we are at my alma, alma mater. Here we are at my alma mater. Alma ma, 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 mater. Yep, Cascade, Cascade Christian Junior and Senior High. This is one of my own stomping grounds. Here we are. Let's go, kooks. Come on. How many uh, basketball games you start? I mean, I started in one game, but it was like the senior game, so they like had to start all the seniors. So I, I played for I played for about ten seconds, and they pulled me out. <laughs> wow. Hey, also, be really careful when you're driving. I just, this is a driving tip for all of you new drivers out there. Be careful when you're driving and someone has a sticker on their car that says, please be patient, student driver. Just, just be, beware around them. You know, like, it just, you just want to be careful, like, that you're cautious, you're kind, you want to give them space. Just expect that, you know, they're, they're new in this, especially all of you guys that are just new in driving. Like, we're patient with you guys. We can, we, we can do it. You say you want to love them? You want to love the people that are uh, driving well. Thanks. That was good. Thanks, <laughs> DC Mo. That's Candace Sperling in the back, by the way. Oh, speaking of uh, speaking of drivers, Candace is a great driver. Candace, do you have any parking tips for people? <laughs> Absolutely not. I disagree with that statement strongly. <laughs> do you think that um? Do you think that you uh, have a lot to offer in the parking realm, or do you think that's something you need to grow in? Definitely okay, we're voicing the truth to you and love, Candace. <laughs> Lots of gifts. Yeah. Driving. Uh, Not one of them. Candace is very creative. She can do it. Almost anything. But driving, steer clear of a Ford <laughs> Escape. <laughs> she should have a sticker. Yeah, she <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Good times, guys. Sorry, Candace. Whoop. Almost okay. hit someone. out of that. Hey. Oh, slow down there, speed racer. Jeez. People need to go through driver's ed again. Maybe <laughs> you take it with me. <laughs> yes, Candace is going to take driver's ed again. And uh, you can take the class. Also, I want to make sure you have a... Make sure you use your blinker. There's nothing worse than people that don't use their blinkers. That's the worst. Oh. Nope, sorry guys. <laughs> I almost hit that car. Um, and these cars are just all over the place. Thank you very much. Oh, she didn't wave back. It's okay. <laughs> Alright, here we are. We're at Taco Bell. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna order 250 tacos for all you and your friends for Love Moss. Coming up. You go invite some friends. Come on with me. Let's go order these.
Don't forget guys, mask up Washington. Let's go do this. All right, here we are. Taco Bell, downtown Puyallup. These people are amazing. Nicest people you've ever met. So, uh, this is Jonah, he's awesome by the way. You guys should get to know Jonah, he's cool. Um, we need 250 tacos. 250 tacos, yeah. all right. Can we do that? We sure can. What's that gonna look like carrying it? Man, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Hey, we want you to come to Love Moss. It's gonna be an amazing event for all the high school students of our community. Invite some friends, 7 p.m., Calvary Community Church. We've got some Taco Bell for you. By the way, park better than this. We'll see you there. Uh -huh.